In today's video, we're gonna be looking at this model right here that's called the Bronx, and it is something that I think you're really gonna enjoy. Here's my take on it really quickly as we walk around. Why, why I decided to tour this house is because it's very nice, as you can tell from the exterior. It's got a lot of really nice features on the inside that you don't see all the time, and it's gonna be at I say a little bit of a lower price point than some of the houses here at Pratt Homes because they have some crazy like triple station modulars. This one right here is gonna be a little bit lower price point, but you're still gonna get a lot of those great features. So that's why I decided to tour it. Y'all leave some comments as we tour and uh, give me your take on it. Let me know what you think about it and all that. But uh, it's definitely over, it's over 2,200 square foot, four bed, two bath. We've got some sliding doors off the back plus a door down here as well. Let me give you just a little look. Now this is kind of on the back side of the lot here at Pratt Homes, but they have a little bit of everything. And I feel like I've said that a bunch. I pretty much have said it in every video I've done here today, but this is just the reality. They have a little bit of everything. If you're looking for a tiny house, they have that. If you're looking for you know, a manufactured HUD home like this, they have that. If you're looking for just a single section uh, HUD home, they have that. If you're looking for like a, uh, you know, what they call mini mansion, that's kind of like a little bit bigger than a tiny house, they have that. If you want the modular, they have that. If you want something huge roof pitch, all frame modular, just out of this world, guess what? You know what I'm gonna say. Unfortunately, they don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding, they have that too. And trust me, I got it. a lot of it's gonna be on the channel soon, but I love all the windows we have. We have us a really nice functional room down here for the family, if you can put that together, what that room is called. Okay, let's go ahead and make our way in. Thank you all so much for joining along with me. If this is your first time seeing the show, I'm Chance, I go all over the nation touring these houses. And uh, we're gonna turn this on, let's see. 45 minutes is about how long this tour will take. <laughs> Just kidding. Just gonna have the lights on a little bit extra time. I gotta get some shots after work. But now I'll be brief, concise, show you everything. And at the end, I'll talk a lot about information on this house. Let's go. Today's video is sponsored by Cascade Financial. Cascade has specialized in manufactured home loans since 1999. So whether you're looking to finance the home only or both the land and home together, Cascade has the right program for you. So as we walk in, first things first, we have to stop right here at the foyer. Pop these shoes off. It rained a little bit yesterday, it rained a lot yesterday. So probably got a little stuff on my shoes, but look at that. We got us a light under there. This is that floating vanity. There's a good look at all those windows and that light that's bring, it's bringing in. Now, obviously, this show model is going to be moved eventually, so we see little things like the cardboard up there. Just look past all that. You know, you got some stuff over here on the microwave. This is uh, this will be somebody's home one day, but for right now, it's a show model that they show, and they kind of order off of it, and you kind of customize the version of it that you would like to have. We'll go ahead and ease into the kitchen. Now this is those thin scape, I believe is what they call them, tops that you have. It's like a quartz material, but it's a, it's a thinner top. So you're not as extremely expensive as a lot of your quartz tops are. It's at a more affordable price point, but you have that same you know look of the quartz and the quality and stuff. I'm a big fan of it. I like it better than some of that floor mica, you know, that's just kind of like, that it's kind of like glued on there type stuff because over time that stuff can start peeling and all that, you know how that is. So this right here to me is a little bit better option than that. And we got two different colors going. We got the white on the island and black over here, black cabinets over here, white cabinets over this way. Got 
Got our kitchen sink off the back with that huge window right there. Didn't even talk about that when I was walking around there, did I? That's nice. You know, we got a totally different color of inner hood. That I know, I feel like some of y'all are gonna love that. Some of y'all are gonna be like, I don't know why they did that, that color. <laughs> is that how you sound? Is that how you sound right now? That is, that's you. <laughs> no, um, I was just thinking it, it'd look pretty cool if it was black, personally. But then, you know, throw, a, throw another color in there is always fine with me. Talking about the season fan, but I really didn't say much about the tray. All right, let's go ahead and get down here. There's where the sliding doors are. Remember the other doors down this way. We'll catch it when we go to the main bedroom. You know, what's funny is the last place I was at touring houses was Michigan. And like everything up that way, y'all, if you're watching from around that area, every everything goes on like a basement. I mean, when you get start getting up north that way, everything's on a basement. And I understand why I've been told a lot of why, but when I first when I walked by this right here, I was like, oh, that's probably gonna be your, you know, where you're under your stairwell, where your basement is. <laughs> you just don't see a lot of that over here. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's not that, okay? Hold up. I'm the worst tour guide in America. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Whew. Deep breath. Oh, it's a walk-in pantry. That's that's what it is. Oh my goodness. I should have known that. I have, I should. I mean, what else did I think it was going to be? I honestly thought it may have just been like a storage closet it's a pantry it's a pantry i mean it could be a storage closet if you're like hey i really don't want to have my pantry over there away from the kitchen you could turn it into a storage closet you know use your pantry for some of this for you know pantry items uh yeah you know what i'm thinking that's that's a good option as well i don't know let's ease down this way there's that room for the whole family. Let's first off go in this bedroom. Jump up spider, man. Cullen, did you see that? You know how kids go through their phases and stuff? Cullen's big thing right now is monster trucks. He ain't really got into the spider. Well, maybe he, he just passed it pretty fast. It was dinosaurs and animals, which he's still a huge animal fan. But he's really got into the monster trucks. So we have a bath right here in between these two bedrooms. Several cabinets in here. White cabinets with the black pools and they went with the white tops on this. So if you notice the white tops in the kitchen had the black countertop, right? Or am I completely wrong on that? Yes, right. Really big shower tub combo. All right, if I got any kids watching, y'all help me out right here. Which, I mean, which one of these are Spider-Man? I mean, I would say that one, but who's this guy? They all look like Spider-Man. Is there more than one Spider-Man these days? Oh my goodness.
that other bedroom I didn't mention, but it had that transom window as, that window as well. These rooms are off the off the front half of the home. Let's see about our closet space in here. Good little corner. That's like one of them. That looked like one of them corner pantries. So that's your closet. Here we go. Here we go. So this is going to be your family room. Always think about it, though. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound. Always think about, though, when you have this area down here with all these bedrooms and the, the kids and stuff, you know, I feel like it's pretty much going to be owned by them. And those of you that have older kids, y'all let me know, because, I, I mean, I just feel like that's the way it's going to be. It could be wrong. You got me. You got me this time. So I really didn't put all that together, but these three windows are all just in this bedroom. That, how about that view? Wow. And we got double doors into the closet, but it's just one big closet. We'll go in right here and we'll come out the other side. A big walk-through closet. And I'm gonna finish. I'm just gonna show it to y'all. I messed up on that pantry. I can't, I ain't gonna try it like I got it figured out. I don't even, I'm, I'm, I let myself down. Probably let y'all down. I'm, I gotta do better. Got the same tops in here in this bath that we got. It had in the other one, the white tops. I'm trying to visualize what that'd be like with those black tops. I kind of like this in the baths. And I kind of like the opposite in the kitchen just because you got two different things going on. Hmm. Nonetheless, you can kind of customize it however you like. Got your water closet. So we have a tub and shower, and they're both massive. And this is just some of those really huge pieces of tile, as you can tell. Darker tile with your white grout and you can definitely option different stuff on that i do like this though all right well we have officially toured another amazing home and besides me messing up the pantry deal everything was great it was a letdown matter of fact i think i'm finna stop recording and redo this whole thing <laughs> just kidding i'm not gonna do that if y'all will forgive me this one time it will not ever okay i can't say that either Look, I'll do my best. <laughs> we'll get into some more information on this house, stuff I think will be resourceful for you. Don't forget to drop a like. Please share with someone or put on social media. And subscribe. Okay, everyone, let's talk about this house. It's called the Bronx. That's the model name there at Pratt Homes. Now, 
That's not like the official model name. That's just going to be a name that they gave it there at Pratt Homes. They give all their models different names. Um, this house is actually manufactured a part of, of one a part of one of Champions plants. If you remember, just a few days ago, or maybe a couple weeks, I guess now, I posted the Molly, which was a custom modular home there at Pratt Homes. Well, by Champion. Well, this is going to be a manufactured HUD home. So you probably seen some similarities. I sure did when I toured both, the, or when I was editing this one, like when I seen in the Molly as well. But anyways, just keep in mind that's another option. Could this house be potentially built as a modular? I'm pretty sure it could be. You have to contact Pratt Homes for that for to be for sure. Uh, their their website is lprattholmes.com if you want to check them out. I have information in the description that'll help you as always. We have our website link in there and some other general things that'll help you out. So check that out if you would like. The videos come out here on the main channel Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, 649. 6.49. That'd be an odd time. It's 6.45 Central Time. And the reason I said main channel is because I do have a second channel. It's called Collier's Homeworld. If you hadn't had a chance to check it out, I'll have the link in the description as well. I try to, not every tour, I try to really focus on the affordability aspect because I know right now the wait times are and expenses as real estate and everything is, people are looking for low priced homes. So that's what I try to focus on on the bars, the types of homes that I put there on that channel. And I also gotta tell you, believe it or not, I still have other homes there at Pratt's that I haven't even posted yet. And some of them are like, I've got, I've got, I still got a triple section modular home from there that I haven't even shown y'all yet. And it's coming, it's just, I try to do a little bit of everything. I don't want every tour to be modular. I don't want every tour to be multi-section, uh, multi double wide. I don't want every tour to be just single wide. I try to, or a tiny house. I try to keep it diverse. So that's why I'm going back and forth and showing y'all the different places that I've been recently with different types of homes. Okay, let's get an estimated retail pricing. Just like on every home that I've done there, this is just what they have provided me. Now they cover uh, their, you know, they cover Texas and some of so the surrounding states as well. So they cover a a wide range. But obviously, I keep in mind that with that, if it's a long ways away, you got different freight charges, and and if it's a different state, you got state codes, county fees, stuff like that that we just can't account for here in this video. So this will just be general pricing at the time of recording. Okay, so keep that in mind. But yeah, here we go. This will give you a great idea right here. So I want some feedback. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I'm shooting this. Uh, I always shoot it on my iPhone, but this is in cinematic mode. Like you notice how like the background is kind of like blurred out. I can tell when I'm recording. Oh, y'all give me some feedback. You think this looks good or do you like the regular way? All right, I'm going to head out. Thank you all so much for watching another tour. And I just want to close out by saying, you know, it is just so good to know that there's a God that loves us. I hope you know that as well. All right, see you.